PC prices have now launched on foottrading.co.uk. You guys asked for them, we have given them to you. Over 660 PC prices for special cards, gold cards, all that sort of stuff over on foottrading.co.uk. A tier one subscription which includes silvers, icons and special cards for Xbox and PS is £10 a month. And a tier two subscription is live filters. We have the buying and selling prices for nearly 1,300 special cards, 300 icons and every single profitable uh, silver card filter on this game. For tier two, you also get access to the live filters feature, which is one of our most popular, and my trade storage, which is a custom built storage platform for you guys to store the trades you've made and see your profit in real time. So check out foottrading.co.uk, but for now, let's get into the video. Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to a new video with me, Fuzzball40. As always, if you're new around here, please do consider subscribing down below, clicking the like button, all that good stuff. It's massively appreciated. Please do continue to comment and tell me things you want to see on the channel. Um, but this video is twofold. It is to tell you about an event tomorrow on Twitch, um, which is going to be a hell of a lot of fun. And also to give you a, a brief update on the Road to Glory, where we're at. Um, I've not been grinding too much recently because I've taken a couple of days off. I'm very, very tired. I am exhausted, so I just wanted to take a bit of time to chill and relax. But we'll start by talking about tomorrow's event. So, for those of you that clued up, you might already know this, but tomorrow, Saturday this is, would have been Pride in London. Now, Pride is an event that celebrates LGBT culture, how far we've come. Um, and essentially, it's just a big celebration of, of who we are, okay? And those of you that are sort of relatively new to my channel or don't see certain parts of my streams and whatnot won't know this, but I am proudly and openly a gay man. I am married to my husband, been married for five years now, been with him for 12 years. Um, and I'll always wear that badge, badge proudly, especially with this game, because there aren't that many out gay streamers, content creators around football and FIFA. Because the assumption for a lot of people is that if you're gay, you are camp or you are whatever, which is nothing wrong with that. If you are that person, then be you. Don't worry about anyone else. But most people don't know it until I say it. But I am proud of that. I'm proud of who I am. I'm proud that we've created a relatively safe space amongst the community where people can be themselves. I've got quite a few people that said to me, I am gay or I'm bi or I'm transgender and things like that. And they're entitled to be who they want to be. And I will always give them that safe space. Doesn't mean we sit there going all the time, I'm gay, hey, I'm gay, hey, I'm gay. Because it doesn't, it doesn't define who I am. It's just a part of who I am. But I am proud to be that person. And so I was in a, sh a few streams on Twitch over the last week and it shocked me the amount of homophobic language that was used in those streams and the streamers did nothing about that. I'm not going to name the streamers. Suffice to say some of them are very big streamers and I watched in the stream and I saw racist words being used and they were being removed, rightfully removed because it's disgusting language to use. And I saw words that were disgusting in nature about homophobia just sitting in that chat and no one saying anything. A few people commenting on it saying like, what are you doing? But the streamers themselves, their mods, not really doing anything to remove that from from view from sort of from what people be able to see it, I guess. Now, if you are, especially with those of you that are growing up and maybe like confused about your sexuality or who you are, if you're seeing like vile language like that being used, it's going to pull, pull you down. It's going to bring you down. It's going to cause you problems. I've mentioned this before, but you are four times more likely to to self harm, um, commit suicide, or have depression and things like that if you are LGBT because we've come a long, long way. We've come a huge amount of time, like. In a very short space of time, we've come a f long, long way. Like my little brother and his mates, it, it's not it's not a big thing to them. They couldn't care less. Again, like I said before, it's just it's part of who someone is. It doesn't define who they are, if that makes sense. Um, but for me, I wanted to say something in those streams. A couple of the people that I know personally and I talked to them, and I did DM them after and just say, for reference, like, in my opinion, that's not okay. And they they, they were apologetic and they were like, in the heat of the stream, sometimes it's hard, but my mod should be doing better. And I, in my opinion, I'm going to say it bluntly, we need to do better. Because you're seeing brilliant movements right now, like BLM, which is so vital to bringing the quality about. But we need to make sure that it just becomes part of our psyche that you aren't a racist, because why would you want to be? Or you aren't homophobic, again, because why would you want to be? Why would you want to tear someone down? And so for me, um, I want to do something fun. So what we're going to be doing tomorrow is a Twitch Pride stream. Do not get me wrong, I'm not going to be sitting there being like, hey guys, guys, and getting all, like, that's not who I am, I'm still who I am. But we're going to be running some giveaways. Uh, if you haven't done the website before, you've got a chance to win on those giveaways and have an awesome, awesome time. It's going to be good music, it's going to be loads of fun, loads of silly stuff, stuff happening. I'm really looking forward to it, I can't wait for it to happen. But it's just going to be a really fun stream. But for you guys more than anything, there'll be a few gift codes given away, there'll be some uh, site subscriptions given away completely free. Um, and we'll go from there basically, but it's going to be awesome. So if you want to get involved, Click link down below, come over to Twitch and get involved in what is going to be three, four hours of absolute mayhem. Lots of fun. So make sure you do it. But let's talk about the Road to Glory because that's what we are here for. Now, 
I have been, I said I've not been grinding at the beginning of this video, and that's not true, I have been grinding. But I've not been grinding the Road to Glory to levels I have been, because I wanted to take a couple of days, including today. I'm just recording this today, and then turning the game off to chill. Um, but we went and got the first part of Bruno Fernandes done, and then we went and got the second part of him done. So I've now got Bruno Fernandes that I can put into an SBC, which is probably going to be Jovic. Probably Jovic. Um, but we'll get Fernandes up now. But I also went and did Kessie. Now, this Kessie card is a brilliant, brilliant card. It's a really, really great card. But he's not going to go in my team. And the reason for that is he's a Milan player and he's Ivorian. Linking him up is very, very difficult in this game at the moment. Now, if I look at Milan, for example, if I go to, let's go League, Syria. I will go look at Milan, for example, here. Now, they have Hernandez, who I'm obviously not going to use because I have Mendy. This Ibra, in my opinion, is just not very usable with that balance, so he's not very usable at all. And then you start coming down, there's very little. Romain Yoli's the only one I was debating Lincoln to. He's not a bad centre-back for my team, but still probably not good enough, realistically. And then if you look at Ivorians in this game, you've got Drogba, again, who's not the most usable, and right now is outside of my budget anyway. I couldn't afford to buy him, even if I wanted to. Um, so here there's him. Zaha, probably outside of my budget, and again, I don't really tend to use players with three-star weak foot. Boga... There's no one really here that's decent. So Kessie's going to go into an SBC. Now I'm probably going to go and do Jovic. He gets a strong link into Hazard. It's very easy. Play him up top with Overmars for Weekend League. We have qualified for Weekend League and we will be playing the games on stream tomorrow. So if you want to check it out, make sure you do. Overmars, you all know I love Overmars. I've said it many one times before. We'll play him up top. Uh, at the moment, we're playing him sort of midfield and left wing to do objectives. But he'll go up top with Jovic, I think. But that gives me 94 Kessie. It also gives me um, 90 Fernandez. to go into that. I've got Casemiro there. A pair of Havertz. I should be able to do Jovic for very little cost. Um, I don't really know what I'm going to do with the rest of the team. I'm going to sell probably these guys. I've got to find a way to link them Dembele. That's all going to happen over the course of the next 24 hours. You guys will see that team done. Um, but that's what we're doing for the grind, essentially. Is getting Fernandez done. Getting Kessie done. And obviously pushing on with Mendy. I'm going to try and get to his 89 and 93 this week. Um, but yeah, been doing that. A little bit of trading here and there, but not masses. I'm not going to lie. And so I go, oh yeah, I've done loads of it because I haven't. Um, but it's okay. Because sometimes I just want a bit of time off to relax. Spend time with friends and family. I've got other businesses that I work on and I own. So I've been working on those as well and getting those up to scratch. However, we've gone and done the marquee matchups and the vote, um, the summer vote in SPC. I'm going to be blunt. I didn't like marquee matchups this week. I don't really care that there's a 50k pack in it. The requirements this week, in my opinion, were shambolic. And it felt to me like EA were like, hey, we've been giving you loads of good stuff recently. Let's now see what we can take back. And unless you're the sort of player with the players in your team already, but not on the road to career, I don't right now. You have to, so I have to spend 20 or K on this on the marking matchups, which is a bit iffy to me. I, I didn't really like it. I'm, I, it's, it is what it is. Uh, we did get draft token packs. We're going to start off with that and just open that up. I like this. The daily SPC for a draft token pack I thought was very, very good. So a draft token pack. Silly will be able to do that and do a, and try and maybe win the draft and get some decent uh, packs back from it. But we'll start opening these packs up now. We'll start with the gold players pack. Anything decent in this would be nice. It is a ball to walk out from the gold players pack. It is a ones to watch, is that? I think that's Barilla. Mate, I'll take, I'll take 10k from a cup from that straight away. I'll, I'll take 10k from that. Easy. I'm pretty sure it's Barilla. It is Barilla. I don't know what he sells for, but I don't think it's much more than... Yeah, he's pretty much discard value. Uh, so we will discard him and we'll be back with you. I'm going to send these players to the club. I'm going to start getting to that stage now where I stop keeping players in the club. Um, I need to build a weekend league team. So if I have to sell them afterwards, I will sell them afterwards. But I want to try and get to a, a stage where... The club is stacked up with players, so I can just do daily SBCs without having to spend coins um, overall. Obviously, being, being in foot champs this week will make a massive difference to what the club is looking like. It will make a huge difference, in fact, because obviously we get rewards, uh, we get player picks, and all that sort of stuff. So it's going to bang it up. Dan Byrne is someone that I will consider selling if he's high right now. He isn't, so I'll keep him for now, but I will go back and sell him at some point. We'll stick him up there for now, so I know he's there. Silver's obviously a little bit lower today than they were yesterday because we got supply. Has Taram got a value at the moment? Not really. We'll send him to club for now. So far, packs been alright. We've got the uh, we've got the Borella, which is decent. We'll go with the. I think we'll go rare mixed. Then we'll go maybe small rare gold premium, and then the fifty k pack. Hopefully, we can see maybe one more special card to here. Get our coins back. Rare mixed pack not paying out at the moment. Again, expensive silvers are always welcome. They are always welcome. Pope Uno Simon Amafatana is not bad. Usually, that's quite good value. It's down a little bit at the moment because we got silver supply yesterday. Uh, McLaughlin probably has a bit of value because he's a rare Irish player. Let's have a little look. Mate, he's still at 900 quid. I'm tempted to buy those. They'll go back up in price again. We'll put him up there. We'll put him up there. Send this lot to club. And then we'll go, yeah, we'll go small rare gold, premium gold players pack, and then the 50k pack. We'll see if we get anything decent from it. 
And then after this, essentially, I'll be going away to build my team. You guys will see that in the next video. Um, what is that? Winter refresh walkout. I'll take that. What do we get here? French goalkeeper Ariola. I've got him. I've already got him untradable in the club. So to get him tradable is not too bad. I don't think he's got massive value, but 87s in general right now are quite expensive. Yeah, so that's that's perfectly fine. We can we can potentially put him into Jovic, um, the untradable one, and keep that one. Or it gives me the option now to to maybe sell him and completely change the team up in what I want to do. So that's not too bad. Halstenberg had good value yesterday, if I'm not mistaken. He, yeah, he's still got good value now. If I'm not, yeah, he's 4K maybe. So we'll, we will sell him. Definitely sell him. 3-6 there. We'll go, we'll go, we'll match it at 3-6. He should sell quite quickly. I don't know if Micron has good value. He did the other day, doesn't he more? Kalola Jack, I don't think you do. No, cool. We'll send these guys to club. And then we are left with two packs. So far, we've done brilliantly well for marking matchups. Can't complain. Premium gold players pack. Anything in this one? No, nothing in this one. And you know, you know full well now the 50k pack, the one that EA justified the high cost of marking matchups this week with, is going to be extortionate. Uh, we've got Musakio. We'll try and sell him just because I know they're a little bit inflated at the moment because he's required for one of the SBCs. We'll stick him in there. Rest can go to club. And finally, the 50k pack. Come on, EA. Give me something good. Please be at least a board. It is a board. It's a shapeshifter walkout. That is good. It's going to be... No idea who this is. Hatchapur, 86 rated. He'll have decent value. Not too disappointed with that at all. Marking matchups were a win this week. I'm going to be honest. Although I don't like the requirements, they were a definite win. An 86 rated, an 87 rated. Uh, ones to watch. And an 85 rated in there. Lopez has got decent value at the moment. So both of those I think will potentially get sold. I'll uh, stick them up there now. Uh, Ibai Gomez, has he got good value at the moment? No, it's the left mids. All the left mids from the La Liga that are 80 rated plus are all very, very high at the moment. And I'm not sure why. Aziz, I know he's got value because I went to use him and went to use him marking matchups a minute ago. So we'll list him up. Um, anyone else here that could have decent value? Mukiele, do you have good value? Not really, we'll keep you. But yeah, that, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that as a big fat dub. So that is going to be the end of the video. Next episode, you'll see some highlights from the Pride stream and the Foot Champs and stuff like that. Once we've got the team built, we'll go from there. Um, but please do check out the stream. Anyone is welcome. It doesn't matter if you're LGBT or not. You are more than welcome to come along. So long as you just bring a positive attitude with you and have fun. Uh, you're more than welcome, welcome to be there. But like I say, that is going to be the end of the video. If you are new around here, please do consider subscribing down below. Clicking the like button. All that good stuff is massively appreciated. But for now, lads, I am out. Peace out. I'll speak to you soon.